Okay, so I just got my DBT workbook out because I think there's a million important things in here. So what's the purpose of guilt? Yeah, doing something that violates your own personal values. We're saying, say you cheated on somebody and your main values, your core values are honesty, relationships, intimacy, that kind of stuff. Then you've got a problem on your hands. And that's when you can kind of go into problem solving. So ways to problem solve around guilt, make resolutions to change, to change your behavior, to join self-help programs, make some actionable changes. But a lot of times we feel guilty about stuff that actually isn't violating any of our personal values, but it's violating values that maybe we were told to have when we were kids or values that society thinks we should have. I feel guilty about taking money from my mom. But there's a part of me that thinks adults should be able to support themselves. I should be able to be independent. And by taking my mom's help, it means that I am weak and I'm failing. But if I look at my values, I value authenticity and I value acceptance. Part of living with a disability is the acceptance that you might have to get help from, from other people. Maybe you aren't able to support yourself all the time. Maybe you don't need to get help from the government or from friends or from family. We all feel that we need to be working at all times in order to be productive um, and worthy human beings. And that guilt follows me all around every single day. Um, so remembering that you are worthy even if you're just sitting and doing nothing and even if you do nothing for 10 days in a row or a year like that doesn't make you less of a worthy person it probably means that you're struggling the idea of people feeling guilty for feeling bad really just creates a spiral of, sh of shame and guilt when i'm feeling really down um, and people are saying well like just think about all the people who are struggling more than you I mean, that's a lot to put on yourself when you're already struggling, when you're already feeling guilty and struggling. Adding the thought of people who do have it worse, that's, I mean, for anybody with empathy, that's gonna make you feel so much worse. It's gonna make you feel guilty. It's gonna make you think about all the sh shitty things in the world. That, you don't wanna go down that downward spiral. So, when you're feeling guilt, check in with, with your values. Imagine if your friend or daughter or whatever was in the same ex same position, would you think they should feel guilty? And just remember that it's ridiculous to compare wh who has it worse and it's invalidating. So um, I promise I will make more videos and I will not feel guilty if I break that promise because whatever, I'm just living my life. I have bipolar disorder, I have anxiety disorder, I have a music video and an album coming out and there's a lot of stuff going on. But I'm still going to make it a priority to make videos and and I'm not going to feel guilty about how many I make. I'm not going to feel guilty about the quality of them, sorry, <laughs> I'm just going to put them out. If you have any requests for anything I, um, you want me to talk about to do with music or mental illness or self-care just let me know thank you so much for watching and if you want to subscribe then you will find out if i post a video and if i do and if i don't then you'll just get no notifications and that'll probably be fine too right okay cool i'm glad we're on the same page okay um